Om Shanti, welcome back to your channel. Seek the soul that truth lies within. And today we're going to talk about two days of blessing. That is 356 day of a quality blessing and 357 day of a quality blessing. That is yesterday's and today's. So both the recordings will be there for you to listen to. And I hope you're listening to all these recordings. And out of so many recordings, it's been almost 350 plus days of blessings. Even if you have listened to or heard even one blessing, some changes must have come in your life. So let's go ahead with today's blessing. What is the message which Godfather has for us? Baba says, May you become victorious at the time of upheaval everywhere by practicing the awake stage and the bodiless stage. So these two practices, awake means angelic stage and the bodiless stage which most of the sons or the sannyasis or the saints have been trying to achieve. So let's get into the explanation part. Baba says in the last moments, last moments is end of days, the time of Kayamat, which has been spoken about by Muslims and many other different religions have been talking about apocalypse. And they say that at the end of days, God will take us all back home that means millions and millions and billions of souls will leave their body and go back home because the drama has come to an end and the judgment day has come so God is saying when that time comes he's preparing us for that beforehand in the last moments there will be the upheaval and noise of people people will be screaming shouting scared full of fear and there'll be a lot of noise of people and the elements all around elements means when there's an earthquake the five elements are shaking up, right? So that's the time when you'll be hearing all that noise. Your body might be moving left, right, up, down because of elemental turmoil, because of people shouting. The mind can be in turmoil. So God says the atmosphere will be one of crying out. People will be crying out. Somebody will be crying out for their kids. Some people will be crying out, seeing their complete building getting destroyed, their homes getting destroyed. God is saying and somebody will be seeing their houses getting burned in front of them because all the five elements will be active at that time and of shaking at such a time God says what will you do then your practice of becoming an avict angel this is what we do in Brahma Kumaris is while walking while talking while doing a karma we think of ourselves as angels that means I have got no relation to worldly things with its money, with its business, with its job, with its relationships. I'm just doing my act, whether there is profit, loss, gain, whether there is no gain in that, whether there is fame, no fame, somebody insults you. God says in every kind of situation, if you are constant, that is what is an angelic stage. So you're like an angel, you've got nothing to do with this world and worldly achievements or worldly desires. If that practice is there, then at the end of the days, when everything will be getting destroyed in front of your eyes, you will be able to take it. And an incorporeal bodiless soul. Second practice is incorporeal bodiless soul. That means I am a soul. I was working through this body. This body is also going to get destroyed at the end of days. And I am not this body. If that practice is done, then the fear of losing this body will also not be there during those end of days in those last moments so god then says bodiless soul so becoming an evict angel and an incorporeal bodiless soul in a second will make you victorious that means you'll be able to leave your body with your own wish instead of getting destroyed your body getting destroyed in an earthquake or a fire or any kind of calamity or a war instead of all that happening instead of religious wars and you getting you getting your body separated from you as a soul instead of all that happening you'll be able to be victorious in a second god says therefore practice this over a long period of time now that is what we practice at brahma kumaris the morning and evening meditation and, and walking talking working karma yoga that means meditating while doing karma it is also that practice. So God says as a master play music through the instrument of your mouth. So I the soul am a master of this instrument, this instrument, this instrument. So these are instruments. The body is an instrument to do my karma. So 
as a master play music through the instrument of your mouth and listen through your ears and if you don't want to be able to stop in a second that means god is helping us to practice that at the end of the days when people will be screaming shouting the earthquake will create such huge noises if there's tsunami if there is earthquake if there is huge waves and that time when the complete five elements there's typhoon whatever is happening around you you are in that state where you are not listening you're not looking even if your eyes open you're not seeing that you're seeing supreme god father and your abode supreme abode in your third eye and these eyes while watching also are not watching ears while all the noises there is neglecting because you have become so conscious of being a soul of being an angel that these outer distractions are not affecting you that's what we practice at brahma kumaris so god says as a master play music through the instrument of your mouth and listen through your ears and if you don't want to be able to stop in a second in a second not a minute minute will be too late god says this practice will make you worthy of being remembered that is it will take you into the rosary of victory so you'll be victorious whereas the other souls will be screaming shouting because they'll be body conscious they'll be thinking about worldly possessions worldly things worldly relations and for them to go into liberation or mukti will be difficult so god says come and learn this at pranav kumari's godly spiritual university and that is being taught in your own city for free with this om shanti